Good morning. Hope you're all doing well. I'm kind of in the middle of doing this one. Um, I wasn't really sure that it would come out the way I had wanted it, so I didn't really plan on doing a whole video of it. Actually, it's come out quite quite presentable. So I thought I'd do the final stages of it here. Um, and uh, bring you guys in and get an idea of what I'm going. It's a little bit too black there. Um, needs to blend in a little bit more to what the colours are before, but I'm trying to Obviously get a nice kind of shadow feeling in there around the back of the, the head and neck. This is um this is for a set of commissions from um from somebody on on the subject of what's kind of going on at the moment with all this war and madness and and I've been asked to do a couple of pieces. And this is where I am at the moment. I'm kind of, kind of feel that's like getting a little bit too, a little bit too intense around that part. I'm just trying to get a nice shadow there on the back of what I'm doing. And, um, trying to uh, trying to get this feeling of him kind of walking kind of with this crazed look on his face and and um, surrounded by blood and debris um, on this side and I wanted something to be kind of black on 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 behind leading into uh, leading into this kind of blood and mayhem that's kind of being left behind yeah it's, uh, it's you know I don't like the idea of of how these soldiers are treated or or even received when they come home and this is a kind of a, a feeling of, you know, when you go into war, you kind of, you've got to become this kind of animal somehow, um, killing everything that you see. It, you know, it's, it, it, I don't want to get too deep into it, but it's a, it does really upset me sometimes when you're seeing these, you know, 18 year old kids kind of standing around with guns in their hands and being told where to go and what to do and how to feel almost. Um, trying to get this animal not that the person behind it is an animal but I'm trying to get this feeling that to do this job you've got to kind of put your animal side on you know Too dark down on that side. It's yeah, yeah, I do use my finger quite a lot. Um, I know it's a disgusting habit. Probably, <laughs> probably everybody out there is going, "Oh my God, look at him! He's using his finger and he's smudging it." And he's, but that's just because I don't really want to have. Um, I really don't want to have. Uh, A very intense um, look to it. I want to kind of fade it out and um, show show this kind of soldier in the midst of everything. Everything that's happening around him is kind of like and um, it's 
So I've just kind of gone in there with that. I wanted to kind of get this intense feeling before I start to put my nib in. Um, and the nib is coming in now. If I put that there, you won't be able to see, will I? So, um, the idea is to kind of give him an uh, animal type expression. A beast of war type of thing, you know. Um, my name is Kieran Siemens, um, and I have a lot of drawings on YouTube, lots of different styles, some very kind of cartoony things, and some very insane things like this. Um, so pop on and have a mooch around and see what you like. Uh, I do enjoy my ink, so most of my drawings are in some kind of form, some kind of form of ink. There's something beautiful about drawing in ink, the fact that you, whatever you put down, you're kind of stuck with. That's quite a, quite a beautiful. Uh, adrenaline pull when you're doing something like that that you've got this you've got to do it perfect you've got to do it right and a lot of times it isn't perfect or right but kind of um pulls you you know like kind of standing on stage or something you've got to you've got to get it right with 10,000 video telephones and everything staring at you Trying to get a little bit of texture on his helmet. I don't know, is that eye looking too big for you? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a little bit smaller. Anyway, I've been asked to do a few um, illustrations for an article that's coming out, and um, this is one of the pieces. I've got about Six to do, or six planned out to do. So I'm kind of very excited to see how it's actually going to how it's actually going to come across. Um, it's always quite exciting to see that you kind of got to draw somebody else's opinion for you know. Some of these commissions, the people ask you to draw things, and maybe you, you're not quite sure of what they're. Well, I mean, sometimes you disagree with something that you're you're asked to do, but in this case, I think with this war, it's kind of upset. I think it's upset a lot of people. Another war. I mean, you know, when when is the world not in war? You know, and this is not in any way to say that this war is any more um, upsetting or any more special or any more important than any other war or fight that's going on around this world. I'm kind of hoping that one day we'd all stop fighting, you know. Anyway, it's a beautiful day and the sun is shining and I've just made a blob where I didn't want a blob. Draw that down into the. Let's kind of soften that down. It's a little bit too dark. enjoy drawing these teeth at the moment. I've been kind of, I don't know, 
Maybe it's a strange thing at the moment. I mean, enjoy drawing um, animals or creatures with teeth. You know, I've really been enjoying drawing menacing teeth. Um, my my background is mostly drawing children's books, um, which is uh, I love doing that. I absolutely love it. But sometimes you've got to step across and do other areas of your artwork um, and this this is one of them it's something that um, I'm quite quite excited to explore you know it, as an artist you should explore anyway you know I mean don't get too tied down um, sometimes people can kind of get tied down to doing one character and one situation and and it's very difficult to get out of it and I'm trying just to kind of keep my mind open keep my mind fresh and flexible fresh and flexible <laughs> did I say that I'm just wondering, should he have a tongue, you know? Ooh, that sounds quite, quite... Uh... This is, um... Kind of got it's it's got quite an I don't know how it looks like on the on the camera but um, it's, it's I'm getting quite a nice quite a nice feeling on that but uh, something beautiful about using these nibs just it, it's just a regular old dip pen um, um, I, I do go through various nibs um, I bought a couple of boxes of Geo Hughes many years ago and I really kind of got sucked into them um, So it's quite um, quite special when you get a couple of nibs that just just talk to you. They just really fit into what you're doing and and, and your your passion, your way of drawing, or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm not saying that this is going to work for everybody, but they definitely seem to fit with me I've always been in, in love with um, ink drawings I remember some of the early Gerald Scarf drawings and, and people like that Gerald Scarf was one of the first people that I I actually saw his drawings and thought, oh my God, you, you can do that with ink? You know, that was, um, in fact, I remember probably one of the first, first drawings um, was, was a drawing of, um, by Gerald Scarf and it was of President Nixon. And it, he was like an old elephant uh, he was kind of like dying away. Uh, it was, and there's another one of President Nixon with a, a gun to his head. Those two drawings changed all my all my thoughts of drawing and ink, and very, very, very incredible um, drawings. 
I think at the time he was working for lots of newspapers. He was kind of like a newspaper illustrator. And that was that was quite inspiring seeing somebody who wasn't drawing in the same way that other people were. And that's something that I hope you can see in my work that I'm trying not to draw. I'm not drawing like you, I'm not drawing like him, I'm not trying, I'm trying to, I'm trying very much to draw me. And um, you know, when people always say, oh, how do you draw like that and how do you do that? Um, I, I'm, I'm happy to tell them, but I'll show them. But sometimes it's really quite exciting to try and find your own your own style, your own love, your own passion, your This is his rifle. Oh. AK-47 or whatever you wanna, whatever you experts are out there will tell me. Oh, that's not. Our, I think that's a what 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 what. Oh, there you go. Some kind of high-powered gun. are starting to look very weak. Let's get rid of that blob. I'm trying to just keep a balance across the picture of um of the, the black. Sometimes the black when you draw it very very light sometimes it can kind of fade in. It kind of turns to grey. And when it turns to grey it can kind of somehow feel very weak next to uh, when you start to get a little bit further down you start to draw bigger things you start to draw clothing and it can actually start to look very weak and I'm just thickening up some of the lines there on the teeth just to I'll top up some of these highlights a little bit later on, but at the moment that's fine. Okay. There's something that I was seeing on some of the, the the TV things about soldiers having seeds in their pockets. I love this idea that the old ladies have been given soldiers seeds so when they're killed that their their corpse will turn to flowers. I mean it's quite gruesome um, to be honest but um, um, it's kind of beautiful in its, in its um, image. Quite pleased with that. What do you think? Hopefully you like it. I'm trying to put up a collection of videos online on my YouTube channel. Um, I started doing lots and lots of little quick flash videos like 30 seconds and stuff like that and then I got lots of people writing to me saying, oh, can you, 
Let me show us what you're doing. Can you draw it in real time? And so this is what these videos are. They're kind of like a fly on the wall type of feeling. It's kind of like watching what I'm doing. Um, and I hope you enjoy it. Um, it's kind of difficult to know what people we want to to see from them but I'll just sit and draw and hopefully they'll you'll pick up some bits that of interest and if you certain things you do want then um, send me a comment tell me what you would like to see more of or less of even <laughs> you know <laughs> Please, Kieran, can you stop talking? <laughs> or something like that, you know? Um, I don't know. I don't know what you, you, you talk about when you draw. I mean, usually, usually I just sit and talk to myself. So, um, Well, this should be in some kind of article anyway coming up to you. If I, if I get the links, I'll post them up. You can see how they've been used. The ink at the moment is, um, I can't remember if it's Windsor Newton or Talons. I think this is Talons ink. Just regular old Talons Indian ink. Um, of course Indian ink because I absolutely love Indian ink. I love the I love the way it kind of lifts off the paper once you've done it. It's just such a beautiful again that around the eye they're starting to grey down. I don't know if it's because of the watercolour underneath. Uh, some watercolor, mix of watercolor, and a mix of inks. Um, inks are getting so expensive now. I used to use more and more kind of inks um, as bases, but now it's kind of getting very expensive. Yeah. And art also seems to be. Um, uh, seems to be more and more people doing it. If you are an artist and you want me to have a look at what you're doing, again, leave me a comment and um, I'll pop on over and have a look, see what you're doing. I think that's feeling quite nice at the moment. So I think Kind of thinking what I should do with this. I want to try and bring some, uh, maybe just kind of lift out some greens in there if we can get some kind of greens built into it. Let's see. What have we got on the lines of green inks? We've got some lovely Windsor Newton. Da 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 da. It's just old, good old Windsor Newton. Frog green. <laughs> Frog green. I'm just going to try and brush in a little bit more tone into that. Um, into in, a, in around the jacket, kind of give it a little bit more. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Actually, the, the green is kind of, maybe because of the base, that has come up a little bit too dark, maybe. The, the green is kind of, um, it's giving me a kind of black feeling almost. Hopefully when it's dried, it will kind of even off a little bit. And, Yeah, 
nice. Well, that's looking quite nice. I'm quite pleased with that. Um, the darkness, I've got to balance up a little bit more of the darkness. I'm starting to feel some things are getting a little bit... Um, especially if I look at the the video, I'm kind of feeling that maybe I need to add some... a little bit more to the hat. Put in a couple of little tags to the gun. I'm not an expert on drawing guns, so forgive me on that. It's more of the symbol of a gun. His finger on the trigger there. Yeah, that's kind of worked out rather nice. I'm going to add some density then with the reds. Um, I would love, I would love to get some comments from you. I would absolutely love to know what you're thinking of this drawing. I'll just put my name down there in the bottom while you have a look at it. Again, my name, Kieran Siemens. Um, I have a shop. On Etsy, obviously selling prints. If there is anything special that you would you would like, let me know, and I will sort those out for you. Um, I've done a lot of cats before, which were very popular. I enjoyed doing the cats, and um, I did a book called Cat Cat, which a lot of those drawings came from and um, so let me know what you think of my drawing for today and that is me Kieran Siemens drawing today's drawing is dogs of war thank you very much for watching see you again soon